for all the Yuri on Ice fan and many fans out there, I'm sure you're very excited that the last episode just came out, and many of you already thought there should be season two. Today, I want to talk about Rebirthly. Um, as the first video for my channel, I've always wanted to make this channel called What the Fuck Japan, about all things weird and interesting Japanese and anime. So of course, has to be included, and Yuri on Ice being the most popular anime out there. In my personal opinion and my friend's opinion, they have encouraged me to do this video.、Um, so I want to talk about the real life Yuri on Ice people, right?、Um, so very interesting. First of all,、uh, this is、um, the choreographer. He is actually one of the most popular choreographer in Japanese history, and he's modern. He's contemporary. He did the choreography for a lot of Japanese figure skaters. In fact, he does about 50 athletes choreography per year. So he's a real guy, and you know he handled the choreography for this particular anime. And he's very, you know, he's the athletes he helped are quite famous in Japan.、Um, his recent interview, he actually specifically said,、um, you know, like I. Try really hard to make every step,、um, every performance in this anime,、uh, anime worthy, is beautiful. But also,、uh, once it's showing a real competition, I would not be embarrassed. That's like the literal translation. So he's saying, I have made figure skating competition worthy anime、uh, step sequence. And while they were making this anime, they actually would do the storyboarding from six different angles and. Um, he would、uh, demonstrate, and then people would draw it from different angles just to make sure they get、um, every technical detail correct. Uh, his name is Miyamoto Kenji.、Um, he's what's known as a fuitsuke shi. Fuitsuke means choreography. Fuitsuke shi means. Uh, choreographer, and he's only 35 years old.、Um, so he did a promo for this anime and just make sure everybody watch it. And then next in the anime, we're gonna talk about.、Um, most importantly in this show, we're gonna talk about if there, if any, did the anime characters reflect on any real world、uh, figure skaters. So of course, we love Victor and we care the most about Victor. The the female lead、uh, director of the anime、uh, Kubo Sensei. She actually said,、uh, when I think about a hot Caucasian guy, the person that comes in mind that is not a figure skater is actually John Cameron Mitchell.、Um, so he had this guy in mind, and of course, for all the Victor's fan fans out there, I don't know, like maybe you are a John Cameron Mitchell fan, but really. Victor in the anime is way hotter, right? So he's, you know, the, you can say the shape of their face is different, the jawbone is different, the, even the chick and the chin. I don't know, like just everything's different. And look at him, I don't know, he's, I don't know, this picture of him without a shirt on. I don't know, but this expression right here, you definitely see a little bit of resemblance there. So. And then some are having saying this is the one of the most successful Russian fi male figure skaters out there, and he's actually what Victor's based on. But this had is not confirmed, and in fact,、um, that may not be the case whatsoever. So Victor is more of an imaginary character. Really, he had a, a face that is inspired by John Cameron Mitchell for sure, but、um, Victor may just be Victor. And Bo Young Jin is the、um, real life is thought to be the real life fig,、uh, figure skater for the Chinese athlete. Here are some more examples why people think he might be、um, who Victor is based on. This like hand gesture he had, very interesting. It's from Twitter, people have been paying a lot of attention.、Uh, this is、uh, Michael Martinez, and he is supposed to be who、um, pitched from. Um, Thailand is based on, and he even tweeted that himself. Is that is that me and my coach Slava?、Mm, I wonder. And a lot of people have thought like the eyebrows, like the the haircut, and the just very vibrant personality. And here, here are here's 
uh, Ashley Wagner commenting on herself might have been part of the anime. She said, "I've made my anime debut." Urian Ice hashtag Urian Ice. So a lot of real skaters in Japan、um, have really and in the world have liked this anime, and some of them have even. Um, some fans have identified shots and comparison between a figure skater and their real life portrait.、Um, and then, of course,、uh, our beloved Yuri,、uh, not the male Yuri, that is also a contentious thought. He might be based on a combination of two Japanese athletes. Some of them have、um, had encounters with their career double take, and then having very Horrible losses in major competitions. So、um, we're not gonna talk about the Japanese Yuri yet. Now in this episode, we're gonna talk about the Russian Yuri. The Russian Yuri, you get this feminine but very strong personality,、um, and it is said that he is based on one of the most successful modern contemporary、uh, female junior figure skater、uh, out there. So Yulia,、uh, 15 years old, is what. Yuri might be based on. They both had very strong personalities,、uh, very successful junior skating career. One of the youngest、um, gold medalists、uh, out there from the junior division, and they're both cat people.、Um, so I show you a picture of their cat, and then they even share the same outfit. Now I show you a picture of their outfit, and really the the resemblance is stunning.、Um, And then there are some, as we mentioned earlier, there's some real world figure skaters that really love this anime. And Yuri on Ice being so accurate and exciting, the first anime about figure skating that has caught a lot of mainstream attention. And Genia is like really into this. She is a successful 16 year old Russian athlete herself, very accomplished,、um, world ranked, and she like her stuff animals is like a、um, musubi.、Uh, A Japanese like rice ball and this like Sailor Moon cat, I think, and she even dressed as a Sailor Moon in, and performed in Japan. She, in fact, is such a big fan of Yuri on Ice. She will comment on Yuri on Ice from her Twitter account, and she will say, "My favorite moment when Yuri and Victor is sharing this very lovely lovely moment, like almost a couple presenting rather than a coach." And、um, Um, rather than coach and athlete, they're very very intimate, as you can see. And this one is just like just saying gibberish. It's like wow, dream comes true. Hashtag dream comes tr- come true. And then this is when Yuri put the supposedly wedding ring on Victor. And then like wow, this was just like, can you believe this? This is so well written and so well said in such a simple format. Hashtag Yuri on ice. And there's this very provoking picture and. Bloody nose, right? We all get what that means. So she is hilarious, and she is quite a successful and a very funny, fun、um, skater herself.、Uh, a fun fact: in the end,、uh, Miyamoto Sensei, the choreographer from Yuri on Ice, so Miyamoto Sensei, he actually said、um, he gave some really interesting、uh, points about athletes in Japan, right? He's saying. He really enjoyed and choreograph figure skating routines, and then he actually prefer athletes who don't like learn very fast because he actually think about the choreography as he demonstrate right in front of them. If they copy too fast and then he turns around and sees that they already follow exactly what he's doing, then he lost his train of thoughts. So he, sometimes he likes them to give him some space, push them away, and then and then say. Okay, I need some space, and you you ruin my creativity. So the really smart and fast learners, he actually want to keep them away a little bit because he actually design and think on the fly.、Um, and last but not least, he talked about a really interesting detail. He said,、um, you know, in the show, in the talk show he did, another athlete was saying not all athletes are familiar with classical music. A lot of times, their coaches actually choose the music for them. And some athletes would search on iTunes and talk to the coach. Some athletes would completely delegate to the coach. But it's very, very rare, as we see in the anime, where Yuri would have a song composed for himself. A little snobby, what? Like very unusual, very un-Japanese, you no, know, very impossible. Just 
all around bizarre, but that he would actually want a song composed about himself and to use in the in the actual competition. Usually, the coach chooses the music, and it can be classical and contemporary. It can be a more like a song that's more fitting for figure skating, but it's highly unusual. The athletes would come come outsource, ask for.